attempt. There was one report that said that you had arranged to send President Musharraf a letter to be sent in the event of your death by assassination, urging him to investigate certain individuals in his government. Is that true? Yes, it is true that I wrote to General Musharraf. I received um, information from um, General Musharraf that a friendly country had passed on to them the information that I could be attacked by a gang from the Afghan uh, warlord Bethlehem Massoud or by um, Hamza bin Laden, the son of Osama bin Laden, or by the Pakistani Taliban in Islamabad, or by a group in Karachi. So I sent back a letter saying that while these groups may be used, I thought it was more important to go after the people who supported them, who organized them, who could possibly be uh, the financiers or the organizers of the finance for those groups. And I named three individuals who I thought were their sympathizers. Now I understand that I could be wrong and my suspicions could be misplaced. But these are the people that I suspect want to stop the restoration of democracy. They want to stop my return because they know in 1993, when Pakistan was on the brink of being declared a terrorist state, I stopped the rise of terrorism. And they know that I can do it again. So I feel that these are the forces that really want to stop not just me, but the democratic process and the will of the people from triumphing. And uh, in terms of these three people that uh, you mentioned, um, were, they, were they members of or associated with the government? Yes, well, one of them is um, a very key figure in security. He's a former military officer. He is someone that um, has had dealings with um, jesh e Muhammad, one of the banned groups, with Maulana Azhar, who was in an Indian jail for decapitating three British uh, tourists and three American tourists. And um, he also had dealings with uh, Omar Sheikh, the man who murdered uh, Osama bin Laden. Now I know that having dealings with people uh, does not necessarily mean direct evidence, but I also know that internal security has totally collapsed in Pakistan and that internal security cannot collapse uh, without there being some blind eye, if not collusion, being turned to the rise of the militants and militancy. Not only are our tribal areas out of our control, but even the beautiful valley of Swat is now under takeover by Islamists. So I would like to see a park-led police inquiry assisted by Scotland Yard or the FBI come in, use their forensic and scientific explanation to find out not only the perpetrators, but the financiers and the organizers of this heinous crime that killed 158 innocent people. Listen, our voices can be heard.